You have now completed the Drawing with MicroStation module. As part of this, you learned the workflows and processes that introduced basic element placement tools and techniques, as well as how to utilize AccuDraw for precision placement. As an option, you can take part in the challenge exercise relative to this course. As you move through this course, the challenge exercises are designed to further solidify those same workflows and procedures that were covered during the lessons. However, these challenge exercises are not meant to be a step-by-step -step directed click here exercise, but rather begin with a small amount of guidance and general understanding of the outcome. It is important to note that the challenge exercises do not include instructional videos. General information is provided in the following slides. You may pause and rewind as needed to get the necessary information to complete the challenge exercises. This allows you to take charge of your own learning. We guide less, you explore more. It lets you guide and deepen your personal learning experience and realize the joy of self-discovery. For this challenge exercise, you will continue to work in the proposed restaurant DGN file found in the 04 Drawing with MicroStation folder. As part of this, you will finish laying out the single line wall representations for the restaurant. Using the correct levels, create the lines based on the dimensional data provided. As shown here, this is the dimensional data for laying out the storage area. You may pause and rewind the video as needed to get the necessary information to complete the challenge exercise. As shown here, you will add single line wall representations for the janitor's closet in the kitchen area and the server station based on the dimensional data. Again, you may pause and rewind as needed to get the necessary information to complete the challenge exercise. As shown here, you will add a single line partial height wall in the main dining area. Hint, use the level A wall partial height to construct this. As shown here, you will add a single line partial height wall in the main dining area near columns B7 and B8. As shown here, you will add a single line partial height wall in the main dining area near columns A6 and A7. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.